Uh, welcome to St. Helens 88-89 tri-tip. I think on this video you're going to see some top tries and I hope you enjoy them. Jagger Taylor can slip ball to Farber. Keep the ball going. Yours in! Yes, he's in! Yours in there! On the last tackle. Brilliant play by Sid on the last tackle. First time we've been anywhere near the witness line. In a try scoring uh, chance. And uh, Sid certainly made it pay. Three, four, five witnessmen. It gets the ball out, it comes back. Saints are in possession. Did well to make it count there, Saints. Tony Burke going from the dummy half. Brought down, yard shot. And Saints putting all the pressure. Now, lots to spread it out now, Saints. Bernard Dwyer, Neil Holding, lofty pass. On to Paul Jones, going on his own. Flicks it inside. Saints in possession. Paul Barber looking for support. Brought down centre field, 10 yards from the witness 25. Bill Beavers linking up with the backs. On to Roy Haggerty, bringing it to the left. Lofty pass. On to Paul Lachlan. Must be a try of any way. Lachlan going in. Brilliant work as Lachlan touches down in the corner. Right on the half hour in the second half. <laughs> Roy Haggerty there takes him on. A lovely floated pass. On to Paul Lachlan. It still had to be scored and Lachlan showed his pace. He heard through the gap there and touched down right in the corner. Certainly this uh, Rick Packery on this right wing for Widmus. He certainly marshaled the work well. He's not had much chance, a much running chance. Saints come up with the ball. Bernard Dwyer inside to Neil Aldi. Lost it past the Phil Beavers. Linking up. Up to Roy Haggerty. Torment this defence. Haggerty comes inside. Puts the ball out now. Neil Scrum down, 15 yards from the Bradford line, to Bradford feed. Park into feed, well, the ball finally coming off Bradford side, Richard Francis in possession. Cooper gets the ball, on to Sean Allen, quick hands, Beavers in the line of lofty pass, Lachlan, on to Quirk, Feeds it inside to Tony Burke, beats one Burke, pushes Furbank off, brought down on the 25. Saints have got to make it count now, one man down for Bradford and they've got to try and put it together. Well, all on, all on, and another six tackles. Paul Palmer losing the ball with the Bradford man pushing it to, back to the Saints line. Roy Haggerty now in possession. Sharp ball to Lachlan. Cooper is in for a try, right behind the sticks, brilliant play there from 
the Saints to win the 28th minute. Saints increase the lead. Shane Cooper going in for his first try of the season with the Saints. In our first touch. Taken down by Thursfield and uh, Herm Harmon. Cooper sees the break. Well, one of the Saints uh, men there taken down off the ball. But as the ball goes out to Quirk, unceremoniously bundled down by uh, Des Drummond. Not the biggest of men, Drummond, but he's certainly a good player. And to Mark Bailey now, Saints put it together, getting the, the rap together, putting the passes together. Got a man down, so they've got to try that bit harder. Sean Allen inside to Phil Beavers, inside to Mark Bailey. Can he make it, Bailey? Yes, he goes over and tries to warm him. No double movement at all there, he certainly did well, Mark Bailey. He was stopped, not a, not a finger laid on him, he got up and uh, touched the ball down. Mark Bailey feeds again. The Saints come up with the ball. Weaver's link, lining up, linking up with the uh, the back division. Cooper, far in through. What's he chase? But Cooper's going to score. Yes, brilliant play from Cooper. He throws the ball in the air with delight. Cooper goes in for his second try of the afternoon. Puts Saints further in the lead. 27 minutes of the second half. Extremely quickly. Cooper makes the break. On to Bailey. Three man over. attacking halfback. On to Sean Allen. Lachlan again. Steps round one. Still going inside to Tony Burke. It must be over. Yes. Burke's over for the try. Another five tackles for Saints to make it count. Groves. Short ball on to Harrison. Groves again. That's uh, the attacking halfback. Witness move up very quickly. Reverse pass to Evans. Touches down to the left of the sticks and uh, Saints get another try. Oh, but uh, very slow around the scrum. Look on from Saints. John Harrison, three man over. Lachlan again, on to Neil Holding. Still going Neil Holding. Moves in field, on to Beavers. But he's taken by Dorsey. He's going for the line. Should have kept going there by Dorsey. Harrison on his outside. Harrison attacking half back. With this move up very quickly, but to Tony Burke, steaming for the line. Saints put it on the pressure now. Bernard Dwyer attacked it half back. Burke plays it to himself. No marker, he drives forward. Draw down the yard, the toe short. Paul Groves now. Back in the general there, but he brings it to the left to Shane Cooper. Going to the line, it's Cooper in. Yes, he touches down. Did well, Sir Cooper. Steps up and 
touches down, ten yards in from the touch line. Jowitz, but Talatad is up. Sean Allen from the acting half back position, taken down by uh, John Thompson, the hooker, and uh, Ian Jowitz. But Saints in possession, moving it left. Tony Burke, solid tattling from Wakefield, they move up very quickly. Rain and uh, Douglas quickly in there at the tattle. Loop movement now with Groves and Dwyer. Groves gives the dummy. Takes it left to John Fieldhouse. Fieldhouse feeds it out to Beavers, linked it up. Bluer, lock pass on to uh, Sean Allen. Lovely time pass there, but it's a good tapping from Wakefield. But Saints keep it going, bring it to the right. Beavers, short ball up to David Tanner. It's just me. Attacking half back, he's going on his own, but he feeds it inside to Paul Groves. He does well, he did well to take that ball. Groves, he nearly broke through the tackle, he plays it to himself. Nobody marking him, still going Groves. Overlap on the right, Beaver, short ball to Field out on the right here. Lovely ball to Sean Allen, still going Sean Allen, cuts in field. Ten yards from the uh, Wakefield's dry line, brilliant play there from the Saints. Good display from Sean Allen. Saints moving it left, Beavers. Formed. Saints win the hook on to Beavers. Doherty. Blue attacked it half back. Short ball on to Haggerty. Still driving forward. Flicks it inside to Beavers. Lovely strider. Oh, beg your pardon. It's Darren Blue. Just looked like Beavers linking up. But. Uh, Haggerty there, burst through, he flicked it up to Darren Bluer, he opens his account with the Saints. To Bernard Dwyer, so Saints in possession. No way through there, Haggerty, brilliant interception there. Fieldhouse, Beavers, inside ball to Farmer, steaming for the line, Farmer, still going for, brilliant drive from Farmer! Well, that finishes off the brilliant display from Saints today. But a good try from Farmer, he took it about 20 yards out. An inside pass, he steamed forward, went through about three Wakefield tackles, and still had to power his way over and touch his down under the sticks. Oh, a four to Watkinson and Beale, Farber. Plenty up to Carrington. Good touch from this wingman. Check his leg. Good hand off there. Go down, five yards short of the try line. Ducked it half back, takes it left to Doherty. Loop movement with Blue. Doherty again, the quick hand. On to John Fieldhouse. So say it's the first time in the uh, KR25. Move it left, Darren Blue. Gives the dummy, ready for the last. Brought down, short, off of the dummy. Uh, but uh, the KR defence didn't take it. Say it's switch direction, vaulting. Short ball to Beavers. Grab it for the line, yes. Beavers is over. The first uh, attack. In the KR half, and uh, Saints make it count. The blue to feed, Saints win the ball. Beavers in the line. Well, head eye tackle there from uh, Mike Fletcher. David Tanner, loop movement with Doherty. Tanner goes in field, straightens up. Head eye tackle again by Burton. Doherty now again, Saints putting the pressure on. Vartin, change of direction, drives up field. Short run from Vartin. from Barton. When he took it, there was nothing on. He saw the gap, he scooted through the gap. Showed his space, tremendous space from Barton. And he touches down, 10 yards in from this uh, right-hand touch line. His debut try for the Saints on his debut game. Groves to Sean Allen. Straightens up, still going Sean Allen, looking for support. Doherty comes up on his left for a good smother tackle from the Rovers. Allen plays it to himself, drives towards the Rovers line. 
<laughs> Last tackle now of the set of six for the save. Can they make it count? Ball to Haggerty. Out to Beavers, overlap here. Fluer. Field out. Out to Quirk. He's in the corner. Good play there from the Saints. After 13 minutes of this uh, second half. Burton and uh, Beal in the, the tackle. John Field out. Lofty ball to Roy Haggerty. Into space. Good inside Haggerty. Back to Beavers. To let's work into space, overlap on the right, and to Doherty, feed out on his right foot, you're going to catch Doherty, then in the corner, brilliant break from Sage, and Doherty hurled in at this left-hand corner, brilliant try from the Sage, Beavers brings it left now, quick hand, vaulting, good ball to Haggerty, into space, on to feed out, on to let's work, driving for the line, brought down, five yards short of the try line. Saints will have to spread it right, right across the uh, post now. Field out, good ball to Beavers, quick hand, overlap on the right, Tanner in the line. Yes, Tanner in the corner, brilliant play for the Saints, just as I was saying, over here on the left. Quick hand would have to be at the order of the day, which were being brought down uh, just short, and that's what they did. Farber gets up very slowly, he's had a good hard game as Farber. Blewer, chip kick through, follows the takes it well, man on his inside, Groves, Doherty on his outside, takes it in with his, yes, that puts it beyond doubt, right in the 40th minute, Doherty goes in for the second try of the afternoon, for himself, puts the Saints uh, win beyond doubt now, to uh, Walter Sheddings this fall round, well it's all them in possession, Terry Flanagan, sharp ball, Quick ball there, but knocked down, Darren Blewett takes it up. Stuart, Stuart Evans backing him up, feeds inside to Paul Vartin. Sid's on the uh, on the charge now, just brought down, short of the Oldham 25. Blewer on to Cooper. Gives the dummy, on to Fieldhouse, driving for the line, Fieldhouse. Brought down, just short, so good tackle there from Oldham. Fieldhouse again, Lachlan. Urgency there to get the ball out quickly. But to Oldham force the Saints back. And it's Paul Groves. Darren Bluer. Little chip kick for Bluer. Can he make it? Yes. Bluer touches down. That's the idea, as I said before. All Oldham lying up. Uh, lying up all the match. But uh, Bluer saw the uh, defence there. Looking for support, Burke. Couldn't feed in and Bernard Dwyer came through, but Bernard Dwyer now, he'd probably take over the uh, hooking responsibilities. Bluer kicked through. Taken by Lachlan. Bluer on his right, but it goes to Cooper. Inside to Bluer, yes, it's a run in. Must be, oh yes. Finally on to Bernard Dwyer. As he touches down behind the sticks, well, good play there from Saints. Casey right into the uh, second row. Darren Bluer to feed. Saints come up with the ball. Well, Carrington onto a sharp ball there. He touches down right under the sticks for his debut try with the Saints. Well, lovely sharp ball there onto Mike Carrington right into space. No problem for him. It's about five or six yards from the Oldham line. Onto Darren Bluer. Shane Cooper sees the gap. Flicks it out to uh, Paul Vartin. Kevin Meadows comes in very quickly. Takes uh, Paul Vartin down. Paul Farber coming through uh, on the burst, but uh, not enough to take him uh, over the Oldham line. Vartin now. Trying to give the dummy. Stood up in the tackle, feeds it to Tony Burke. Is he in? Can he touch down? Yes, Burke touches down. Tremendous uh, try from Tony Burke. Goes in for his second try of the season for the Saints. And what a crucial try it is. Paul Vartin did the spade work there. Gave the dummy. Held the ball up beautifully. Finally fed it onto Tony Burke, but he still had to score it. All the possession and uh, nothing. Only a penalty goal to show. Paul Lachlan. Set of feet. Stretching those legs. Can he outpace Gibson? Oh, lucky. Shane Cooper coming up, but Gibson just brought him down. Saints on the attack now. Flicks it up to Cooper, he's got to take it in field. 
Cooper again takes up the running inside to Paul Martin. This uh, Australian and Manly loose forward. Cooper again, the instigator onto Bluer inside to Hagatek. Good score. Inside to Cooper. Cooper's over. Brilliant work there. Cooper starting it up and finished it up. And James get the first try of the match. Well, surely have a go for drop ball, will we? Or is it going to be over? Well, don't tell me. A minute to go before half time. And James get a penalty for something being offside. Cooper saps it quickly. Blends it to the right. Put it out from James. A corner again. Second penalty that seems to have had in this half. Cooper again, Agate, quick hand up to Barber. Steaming through. Yes! Barber does all the first try. Put the six back in the lead. Right on the half time, Winter. <laughs> so for you, both are substitutes now with the injuries to Tex Evans and Paul Farber. Saints still with two fresh men on the bench. Bill Beavers and Sean Allen. But Salford in possession, Mark Moran being urged to get up and play the ball. Solid tackle there, super tackle there from uh, David Tanner. David Kurtz going cross field. Saints moving up very quickly, forcing it back over his own line. Solid tackle from the Saints. That's going to, well, as he wanted to try. I don't know whether Saints have come up with the ball. I think it's uh, Shane Cooper. Saints come with the ball, Cooper and Bluer. On to Michael O'Connor, breaking down that main stand side. But he uh, tried to release the ball himself. Well, Sulphur had lost the ball, Saints back in possession. Paul Martin, streaking through, driving to the line. Brought down five yards short. Saints now have to capitalise on this. Paul Barber, John Walter Tanner, inside to Carrington. from the Salford 25 it's getting rather misty uh, out here at Nordy Road I'm sure it's uh, not to spoil uh, the excitement of uh, of this game Saints leading by 24 points to 8 tremendous team display from Saints after a couple of uh, very drab performances Michael O'Connor Sean Allen there inside ball to Lock Loose forward, uh, Steve Blakely this time. Saints awarded the penalty. Lachlan kicks up feed. I'm sure it's just a matter of uh, Saints. Uh, once, uh, once they score, the floodgates are open. Certainly, York is going to try and contain them in this first half. They're not doing a bad job in the first uh, 24 minutes. Which have gone. Bluer, left to Cooper. Got ball on to Farber. Ten yards inside the York half now. Bernard Dwyer at dummy hands. Cooper tries to kick through. Gathers the ball. Cooper inside to Bernard Dwyer. Inside to Haggerty. Haggerty hit it for the lad. But it's up to Bluer. Brilliant try there. As Bluer touches down just to the left of the sticks. Quick hands there from the Saints. Haggerty involved in that turn movement. Created a gap. Fed it left. And uh, Darren Bluer finished it off just to the left of the sticks. But uh, the defence comes quickly back. Saints had to play it quickly, being impeded. 
Let it quickly cross free now, he says. Haggerty. Lost it faster to Michael O'Connor. Picked it up. A man of his left. Lockley. Quick on his left. Lockley should score. Can he go over? Yes. Yes, the try's read. Lockley goes over there. He had the ball up well. Court was on his left. But he chose to take the tackle. And uh, Hugo went over for the try in this uh, left hand corner. See, it's just a bad touch inside the castle for 25. Uruguayer to restart. It's a bluey. Shane Cooper. Farber. Cooper again. Inside target. Looking for space. Lovely ball to Michael O'Connor. Coming to on his right for O'Connor. He goes through to the left. It's his first try for the Saints. His first points for the Saints in the league and cup action. And quick play from over there on the far side. The... So just inside the Saints half now. Five yards inside the Saints half. It's come down. It's uh, the Saints feed, Darren Blue who want to feed. David Plange forced into touch over there on the far side. Well, Castleford uh, certainly using the power in the scrum. Saints uh, down to 12 men. After just five minutes of the second half and certainly uh, paid the price. Trailing by 30 points to two at half time. It's now 42 points to 18, Castleford's favour. Darren Blue comes up with the ball quickly onto Cooper. Sharp ball there to Les Quirk. Les Quirk beats the defence, hurry for the corner. Plenty of Castleford cover. Can Quirk win? Yes, Quirk's in at the corner. Brilliant break from the Saints from the base of the scrum. Over there, right on the halfway line. Certainly outpaced about seven Castleford defenders trailing in his wake there. Plays it inside to Roy Haggerty, looking for space, first hands off one, beat it inside to Shane Cooper. Solid tackle from Hull, Shane Cooper brought down, less than 10 yards from the Hull line, right in uh, centre field, Barton inside to Beavers. Just a yard short now, Phil Beavers. Bluer at dummy half. Groves gives the dummy, drives for the line, short ball there, yes! To John Fieldhouse, I think it is, and Fieldhouse goes over. Brilliant play there from Paul Groves. Gave the dummy, drove forward, looks as though he's diving over, splits it up to John Fieldhouse, and he dives over for Saints opening try. Certainly super tackling there from Barton and Fieldhouse. Craig Coleman trying to get them going, gives the dummy, goes in field. Good dummy from Coleman, sent the Saints all the wrong way. The sixth tackle there, it's the changeover. Phil Beavers attacked in half back onto John Fieldhouse, he releases it to Lachlan, over half on the left, Lachlan and Quirk on his left, only the full back to beat, out to Quirk, racing in for a try, brilliant work from the Saints sir. Quirk ball there after the changeover, well that's the idea, early points from the Saints and that will certainly give them a lot of heart, the supporters here well behind them, that's just after two minutes of play, and Saints take an early lead. No support with him, but here the Saints on the charge. Haggerty does well. Inside to Cooper. Space on the left for Saints. Sporting. Short ball to Fieldhouse. Out to Beavers. Linking up. Very good at ball handling skills there. Terrific backing up from the Saints. He'll hold it from acting half back. Left to uh, Lachlan. Barton. Quick hands. Wire overlap. Alec O'Connor must be in at the corner. Blake and O'Connor dives in. Put Saints back in the lead. With just five minutes of normal time remaining. O'Connor goes in for his second try in successive matches. Put Saints back in the lead. Brilliant ball handling skills after breaking through over there to the right. Oh, that'll save a lot of running for these Wakefield forwards. Darren Blue feeds, Saints come up with the ball, have to spread it out quickly to the right. Beavers in the line, gives the dummy, stretches on field. Michael O'Connor takes it, can he outpace his way field defence? Does well, O'Connor keeps him feet, but brilliant work there from uh, Phil Beavers. The tackle count, wave back, wave clean, Saints bring it left. On to Lachlan, Quirk on his outside, Lachlan creates the gap, Quirk! this wing, Fieldhouse on his inside, he's being dragged forward, and he touch down, must be inches short, Saints now, on to Barton, yes, Barton dives over, Saints make it count, after spreading the full 70s 
75, 80 yards up the field. On the way for your 25. Got to get points on the board here now before half time. Tony Burke steaming up this left hand touch line. Bernie Dwyer attacking half back. Burke finally plays the ball on to Martin. Driving for the line. Then he goes for his brace of try. Just brought down short. Tim just break from Martin there. Blue bringing it back inside. Cooper on to uh, Michael O'Connor. Cooper again. Flicking inside to Beavers. Can he go over? Yes. Beavers is over. Referee Tennant right on the job. Brilliant work from the Saints. Beavers touches down just at the crucial time. Blue Bernard Dwyer looking for the gap. Flicks it inside to Beavers in support. Left to Cooper. Gives the break. Sees the break. Gives the dummy. Martin coming through. Lovely ball on to Martin. Certainly moving forward in five style. Farber! Yes! Farber goes over there. Brilliant play from the Saints. Put Saints back on level terms. 18 points each. And uh, 16 minutes of this second half gone. Saints go for the ball. Quickly break, two for the looking for space. Cooper break, going through from Axe half back. Flicks a lovely ball up to Blue. Side steps past the other way. Farmer backing up. Support on the left. But Varty comes up, it must be a try. Dwyer in for a try. Brilliant ball handling skills from the Saints now. A full 50 yard into batting movement. Started off by Darren Blue. He only had the fullback to beat, he tried to uh, sidestep him, he couldn't do, but the Saints support was up there. And Bernard Dwyer finished off in good style. David Cosgrove, I think that is, taking up the run in from acting half back position. Taken down by Mark Graham and uh, Wilson, the left centre. Cooper spending it left, on to Farber. Quick hands from Saints there, Neil Holding now. From acting half back, into space, O'Connor's with him on the left. to O'Connor now. Well, how unselfish there of Michael O'Connor. Brilliant play. He probably could have scored himself and he fed it on to Shane Cooper who touches down 10 yards to the right of the sticks. And Saints get points on the board now, just before the half-time hooter. Darren Bluer, left to Cooper. Trying to work the run around with Bluer, but uh, the witness don't take the dummy. Saints have to spread it out to the left now, right across uh, Martin, straight up field, driving straight up field, 10 yards short of the witness try line. Cosgrove attacking half back. Darren Bluer, Saints spreading it now to the left. Beavers, Farber, short ball there to field out. Out to Les Quirk, can he make it? Yes! Quirk's in for a try! Brilliant quick hand from the Saints there. Right indeed, uh, last minute of play. Haggerty there, first touch of the ball. Power pack man Haggerty stamps his uh, authority on the game, breaks through the first line of defence. Tremendous high uh, stepping action onto Paul Vartin now. Saints back in the driving seat, leading by 12 points to 10. Darren Bluer, Shane Cooper onto Beavers, linking up on this left winning again. O'Connor breaks through the gap. O'Connor still going. Lachlan on his left, on to Lachlan. Quirk on his left in, Quirk does it for a try, Saints it back in good style. A goal, penalty goal by Lachlan and then Quirk with his second try, all within two minutes. Brilliant display by the Saints. That's the way to answer back after Widnes came back there with that a fire try in the 11th minute, a kick and chase, but Saints there putting it together. A minute of normal time left on the clock. Lockley coming through from that ball from Shane Cooper. Let's work looming on his right, but he couldn't see him coming through. So it's second blind side. Gotta try and get points on the board uh, before this half time hooter. Neil Holding, that's the take him on. Sharp ball to Bernard Dwyer. Haggerty goes inside. Oh, Bernard Dwyer, yes. Walks right through. Uh, Paul Fletcher, should have had him there, Fletcher is usually a safe pair of hands, but uh, Bernard Dwyer, good ball there, and uh, 
Manchester Saints get the first points on the board. The ball running through Paul Fletcher's hands and the wood is a touch. Saints go over the ball, win the, win the heel. He was linking up. Takes him for the line. Takes it to Michael Carrington on the far side. Going in at the corner. Yes, Michael Carrington goes in uh, right at the death again. Well, Saints, most consistent players this season, Bernard Dwyer. Shane Cooper from acting half-back. Beats the push line of defence. Still going on to Paul Martin. Hobble up on the right. Must be a try for Saints here. Michael O'Connor coming in field. Well, the Halifax cover got over very quickly. Looks as though it was a certain try. A big gap in the Halifax defence. Neil Alden brings it left to Cooper. Out to Bernard Dwyer. Goes in field. Saints pick it up. The ball was knocked back. Evans out to O'Connor. Yes, he's in at the corner. O'Connor goes in at the corner. Brilliant work from the Saints. And they start off in good style. Putting some brilliant rugby together. Chris Halifax just uh, on the Saints 25, bringing it over to the right, then turning back inside. It's the uh, sixth tackle signified now by referee Holdsworth. Crossfield Grover, but it hits the Saints player. That's onside, Groves is away. Lachlan on his left, and Lachlan outpaced the defence. Hurry for the corner, he's going to make it. Lachlan into the corner. Brilliant work from the Saints. When Halifax putting the pressure on, the Halifax man on the sixth tackle locked it, a uh, high ball. I think it was Groves that got under it. Lachlan on his left and Lachlan outpaced the Halifax defence to touch down in the left-hand corner. Player. But it's Halifax now, just outside the Saints 25, spreading it quickly to the right. Short ball there to Whitfield, but he goes down with it. Groves again. Always oh, there and about Paul Groves on these loose balls and that. We had some good standing uh, hookers for him, but Martin on the break, over to the right. Power play, onto O'Connor. Inside the field house. Oh, Pete. David Tanner that finishes off. I know field house was there about, but I think it's David Tanner that finished off in good style. Sixth and final tackle of this uh, sequence for Halifax. Well, Saints pressurising him. Pendlebury with a reverse kick. Bill Beavers gathers it safely. Takes it over there to the right. The ball fed in field onto Stuart Evans. He takes it over there to the right now. Saints back on the attack again, but it just seems as uh, one team scores. The other team comes back and scores for their side. Jane Cooper into space. Brilliant play. Field house on his left. Yes, up to, oh, brilliant try. Up to Darren Bluer. And Bluer touches down right on the stroke of half time to put Saints back in the lead. Backs into him. Just about 12 yards short of the Halifax line. Halifax being urged to get back on side. Darren Bluer. Gives the dummy, sees the gap, looks for support, Evans is there, powering his way towards the line. Saints <laughs> bending right, loop movement there, with holding, well it doesn't go to holding. Comes back over to the right, but it's still going, Shane Cooper now. Out to David Tanner, heading for the line, can he get in? Oh, brilliant ball to Cooper! David Tanner in the tackle, but Halifax uh, didn't clamp him. And Cooper on his right, and Cooper touches down. Before we entertain uh, the old pie eaters here on the uh, traditional Yuletide uh, fixture on Boxing Day, play on rule by referee uh, Holdsworth. John Field now takes up the running. Sixth and final tackle now for the Saints. On to Shane Cooper, inside to Neil Alden, into space. On to Paul Martin, back to Neil Alden, into space, going for the line. Oh, brilliant try, brilliant try from Alden, right on the sixth tackle, when everything looked dead, and Saints certainly running Halifax ragged there. Groves there again. 
We're gone from the Saints. Philby was linking up, creates the gap. Over to the left. Let's quirk now in full flight down that left wing. Does well, keeps in field. Saints spreading it to the right. Bernard Dwyer. Halifax back to full complement now with Colin Whitfield back on field. After his 10 minutes in the sim bin. Saints on the sixth tackle, Beavers. Flicks it up to Quirk. Gets another head tackle, does Quirk in his efforts, but he's in at the corner. Shane Cooper gives the dummy, creates the gap. Lots of oohs and ahs for the crowd, but uh, looks as though it was round uh, Cooper's uh, shirt collar. But it's it, still in possession. Sixth tackle of this uh, sequence, and Halifax uh, all moving up in an offside position. Michael O'Connor on the sixth tackle, taking them on. Round the Halifax defence, chips through, still moving, gathers the ball safely, still going O'Connor! What a. Oh, yes! What a try! Made by O'Connor, finished off by Les Quirk. Right under the sticks. Brilliant work from the Saints. A full, uh, I'd say, 50, 60 yard movement by O'Connor. Taken in, uh, in his own half. But in a good display today as Stuart Evans, this ex neat rugby union uh, prop forward. But freshman Farber for the remaining 21 minutes of this game. Gregory Dirk. Feeds it on to Kevin Iro, immediately knocks on a scrum down and sits uh, with the pressure back on. Swigan make a mistake, Saints capitalise on it now. Neil only to feed. It's essential that Saints come up with the ball from this scrum. And obviously, a testing time, Saints will have to have a clean heel. Well, it's come out to uh, Wigan's side. Ball against the head just when we needed it. Uh, in an attacking position, so very lucky to Wigan. But they lose the ball, Saints come up with it, it sits back on the attack. Haggerty, centre field, power in for the line, can he touch down, yes! Haggerty goes over, brilliant try, Saints capitalise on the Wigan mistake, they hit back in good style, after Wigan just taking the lead, and now Haggerty, back in the second row for the Saints. Powers his way over from about 10 yards to put Saints back in the lead. Time now to play the ball. Well, all on the, all on the touches the witness man, so Saints with another six tackles now to get points on the board. Certainly a chance they mustn't let go. David Taller acting half back. Takes it left. Groves gives the outrageous dummy. Drive for the line. Scores there. Yes, Groves goes over. Brilliant. which is uh, Grove's hallmark. Bring him down, so it's uh, back in possession now. Shane Cooper, into space. Up to Sean Allen, covering his way over to the right. Allen sidestepped inside. Straight driving upfield. Cooper again, back to Roy Haggerty, off one foot. He loses his footing. He gets up, plays allowed to go on, the tackle not being completed. He rolling, sits with an overlap here. Up to Les Quirk. Chance now for Saints, they've got to take these chances with both hands, you don't get many chances from the witness. Cooper, back inside to Neil Holden, Diane and Rome inside to Barton. Still going Paul Barton, well tackling in there at the tackle, but back to Cooper, Cooper powering his way for the line, brought down five yards short. Paul Barton, yes he's in, saw the gap Barton, he drove into the witness defence, Witness went high, Barton went in low, and he touches down just to the right of the sticks. Certainly punching holes in this lead defence now. 
Cooper on to Dwyer. Saints faithful getting behind him now all round the ground. Certainly a good crowd here, about seven or 8,000 at least, I would imagine. A hefty sprinkling of uh, lead supporters. They've had nothing to shout about today. Saints are in the lead, five points to nil, and Saints are putting all the pressure on now. Neil Holden, back to Shane Cooper. Shot ball there! Saints drive it in, yes! Quark into the corner! A brilliant work there from the Saints, and they made it count! Let's go going in in the far corner! Good wingman, this Quirk! Very quiet early season, but he certainly come to just before the Christmas period. The line on to Les Quirk. Leeds moving up very quickly, exceedingly quickly. Good ball there. Play allowed to go on. Haggerty into space. Lachlan on his left. Lachlan goes inside. Work on Haggerty's right for O'Connor now. Lost it ball. Bernard Wyatt takes it well. Dwyer inside to Tanner. On to Bill Beavers. Beavers creating space, set to be, brought down, five yard shot. Brilliant play from the Saints, the sixth and final tackle. They've got to run it. Groves, Groves, can he make it? Ball's loose, still in play. Cooper kicks it through. Yes, O'Connor's in. Brilliant play from the Saints on the sixth tackle. After some sterling work, and O'Connor goes in. Touching down for the Saints. Michael O'Connor, solid tackle there on O'Connor from uh, Glen Bell. Certainly felt the full strength of that tackle. Cooper, Neil Alden, back to Cooper. Peter Smith brings him down, Cumberland playing style. Well, certainly uh, withstanding this pressure, Neil Alden chips through. Quirking, yes, good try, must be a try. Yes, and rightly so. Good play from Neil Holden there. He grubbed through. The ball was hanging in the breeze. Les Quirk powered his way through. Featherston very lax in getting back. And uh, Les Quirk touches down. <laughs> Neil Holden. Featherston moving up very quickly. Lofty pass. Fever's in the line. Sharp ball there. Beavers attacked in half back. Bernard Dwyer, diagonal run. Dwyer heading towards the sticks. Brought down about five yards short. Sixth and final tackle for the Saints here. Groves. Outrageous dummy onto Evans, powering his way in. Evans dives over, yes. The try's given. I'm surprised uh, they don't use uh, Big Stuart Evans a little more at these uh, close in play the balls, but it's on the sixth tackle there. Uh, Groves, outrageous dummy. And. Uh, Typical of Groves. Cooper weaving his way through. Chris Close uh, bounces into ground. Beavers attacked in half back. Saints move it left. Neil Holden. Rovers move up quickly. Short ball to John Addison. Powering his way forward. Raises it to Gary Connolly. Links it up. Ten yards from the uh, Rovers try line now. Saints putting the pressure on. Brilliant play there, Neil Holden from the dummy half position. Weaved his way through the Rovers defence, as I said, from the acting half back and touches down at 10, 15 yards to the left of the upright. Moving forward. Beavers a dummy half, going to bring it left, surely. Neil Holden, Rovers moving up quickly. Cooper, yes, quick hands. Lachlan takes it well, on to Quirk, going in in the corner. Yes, Les Quirk scores. Brilliant try from the Saints. Quick hand from one side of the field to the other. And increases Saints lead to 13 points to nil. Rove to Holden, to Cooper, bringing it blind, I'd say. Lachlan, good ball to O'Connor, on to Quirk, into space. Quirk powering his way up. It's time, Cooper, yes, Cooper goes for the line, brilliant try from the Saints, a full 75 yard movement up field, brilliant ball handling skills, Lachlan linking up here, making the extra man on the left, and the 
lovely time ball to Quirk. He powered his way past international uh, Gary Clark and Cooper backing up as ever. In front of the uh, Rover sticks. Groves over to Martin. Short ball to Bailey. First touch and Bailey hits his shot. Well, I don't know whether they're to carry him over the line there. Similar position, Saints were in there. Bailey plays the ball. Saints move it left. Crossfield, right to Crossfield now. Bernard Dwyer. Yes, Cooper again. Oh, yes, Michael O'Connor. Goes in behind the Well, he was going to go in behind the sticks. Rovers come in and closed him down. And Saints come further into the lead. Both down to 12 men. Paul Martin. On to Cooper, lofty pass to Agassi, overlap here. Inside to Bailey, on to Lachlan now. Running this Rover side ragged. Just gliding up the field there, Paul Lachlan now. Quick uh, play the ball wanted. Bailey, on to Martin. Work, holding, into space. Taken by Michael O'Connor, well taken there, yes. O'Connor comes in towards the sticks to make uh, the goal uh, kick attempt a little easier and sit uh, just at half pace going in for another try by Michael O'Connor his second try there in a matter of 10 minutes but uh, Saints come up with a penalty there Swinton diving into the uh, the scrum so Neil Holden finds touch just about uh, 10 yards short of the Swinton try line first chance for Saints uh, to put points on the board, Groves inside to Evans, powering from the line. Brought down a couple of yards short, Groves takes it right. Neil Holding sees the gap, chips through, goes for the line. Yes, Holding's in. Brilliant work from close range from Neil Holding. He looks as though he was going to be uh, well tackled there, but he bobbed and weaved. He went to the right, then to the left, saw the gap, ducked under the tackle and touched down. About 10, 15 yards to the left of the posts. Not making much headway with his solid uh, Swinton defence. Martin, Cooper, short ball there, Saints got it right. O'Connor, on to McCormick. Inside, yes, Cooper's there. And Cooper scores. Well, that's it. Back the man up with the ball. And it should pay dividends every time. Quick play from the Saints. I was just saying they should have spread it out. As they've been playing it up the middle. It went the last chance now in this first half for Saints to get more points on the board. Leading by 10 points to five. Saints bring it left. Beavers, back to Beavers. Farber in the lines. Lovely ball to O'Connor. Trips it to Lachlan. Must be a try. On to Quirk. Yes. Goes in. Lovely movement from the Saints. Right in the dying seconds of this first half. And Quirk keeps his try tally up. That's his fifth try in the last five games. Neil Holding to feed. Saints come up with the ball. Bill Beavers links up on the left. Short ball to Connolly. Breaks through. But well, Lockley on his outside. Perhaps he didn't know. The line was open. Maybe they could, could have passed it to uh, Lachlan. Let's work from acting half back. Ball Groves are coming half now. Saints will have to score. Carver powering for the line. Tries to feed it back inside, he does so! Yes, Groves is there! Groves scores! Saints on the board! Six points to four, still in Barra's favour! And this Paul Lachlan conversion attempt to come. Well, judging by uh, the way Evans is feeding to the truck should it looks as though he had been uh, Simbin, I just don't know. Neil Alden straightening up, centre field. Tries to duck under the tackle, releases it to Cooper! Overlap on the right, on to Michael O'Connor. He has to come in field. Back to Beavers, over to Martin. Still going, Saint. Bernard Dwyer released it again. Over to Phil Beavers. Gives the dummy, does Beavers. He's still going. Saint's over there on the far side, yes. In at the corner. In at the far side. I think Groves attacked in half back. Bad of words to get back on side. Groves back in possession. Palmer coming through at pace. Well, Barrower taking him back towards the road sticks. Just about two or three yards short of the try line. Groves, characteristic dummy onto Evans. He's powering his way through. Three, four, but a tackler's forcing back. 
17 stones a prime Welsh beater being forced back but it shakes very quickly Beavers yes Beavers in into the corner Phil Beavers oh so quickly I just said it he had to make it count got to make it count every time you get a win to the uh, about a 25 and Saints extend the lead there to uh, 12 points to 6 now with Phil Beavers going over for his fourth try of the season just one uh, Paul Lachlan penalty goal in the third minute in the second half. Barra come away with the ball from the scrum. Number four, Jeff Burns comes through, but it's takes Beavers to text the ball off him. Good uh, tackle from Phil Beavers. Bernard Dwyer straightens play up. Paul Groves up to Farber. Saints take it left. Farber into space. Short ball there to Connolly linking up. Takes it out to Lachlan, up to Quirk, yes, Quirk's in, that's six in six games and one against his old club, he'd certainly be pleased with that with Les Quirk. Quick play the ball from the centre, to a few further bands, Shane Cooper, Gary Conley linking up, up to Paul Lachlan and up to Les Quirk and he goes in for his 15th try of the season with the Saints. Roy Haggerty there, quick play the ball, powers his way down this uh, Popular side, uh, touchline. Bernard Dwyer attaching half back. Tony Burke takes up the running. Bounces off one, turns in the tackle. Tremendous foul with Tony Burke. Powering his way there and back with the aid of uh, three barrel tacklers who are taking him back towards their own line. Stuart Evans. Forward charge, releasing it back to Dwyer, but he's immediately tackled. Darren Bluer, quick play of the ball. Off Barton, Bluey looking for the gap. And Saints get another try on the board before this uh, final hooter. Paul Farber, man of the match. Yes, he's in. He's in, Farber there. Just shrugs there, one a feeble tackle off and powered his way over. That's that uh, being announced as man of the match. He's giving that extra bit of boost, but he uh, powers his way over there. 15 yards in from that uh, far side, uh, the main stand side. his fifth try of the season quick comes from the Saints there Brad said they haven't done anything spectacular um, St Helens on the other hand have come up with a couple of mistakes I thought probably uh, with that, when they had the pressure on five minutes ago instead of shooting for goal they could have kept the pressure on instead they didn't and they've let uh, Bradford have the upper hand and now they'll just uh, have to try and keep them out but when, as Paul said before when they do get the ball in their own 25 that they get a good clear and kick away and they get protection and it didn't happen before and as a result with the handover uh, Bradford scored and uh, you know it's something that they're going to have to look at carefully Thank you Michael well one against the head there but uh, Darren Blue redeems himself he comes back the ball coming out Bradford's side Bradford very sloppy at the uh, scrum but he come back Darren Blue he managed to get a hand on that ball as it came loose and it's, uh, it's back in possession Tony Burke. It's Kelvin Skerritt in at the tackle there, and uh, two and three Bradford players come in and force uh, Tony Burke back. Shane Cooper spreading it to the left. Phil Beaver's in the line. Roy Haggerty. Elusive character Haggerty, always looking to offload this ball. He does so on to Paul Lachlan. Saints ready to be Matt Bailey into space. Support on the left, Darren Blue, out to Les Quirk. Brilliant rugby from the six as Les Quirk touches down. Ten yards in field. Brilliant rugby there from the six. When they looked to uh, bed it in their own 25 yard area, but they spread it quickly upfield. Good, crisp uh, ball handling skills. Les Quirk finishes off in good style. And David Tanner gets it on the far side. Drives up to the 25. Once again, I must apologise if this uh, stanchion is uh, impairing your view. Circumstances beyond our control. But it's Tony Burke now taking up the running. Good uh, ball handling skills from the Saints there. You can see uh, they certainly got the class. They put it together and uh, spread it out. They say Roy Haggerty is a very elusive character. Always gets this ball out and good running from uh, Paul Lachlan. But it's Saints still uh, in possession. Spreading it to the left. Good break there. Darren Bluer again. Four 
Harper on his inside. Beavers on to his right. Beavers takes up the running. Back to Mark Bailey, yes! Must be over for a try again. Another full 75-yard movement from the six. Right upfield. Brilliant ball handling skills. And Darren Bluer again, Michael, that uh, sent them on the way. That's right. Darren was involved again very heavily in that try. He went through a, a, a gap by the side of Sydney head. And... A loose ball, Paul Groves, I think it is, he's in there like a shot. Loose play from Bradford and sits back in possession. Wire across to Cooper, quick hands, Beavers in the line. Changes direction, back to Shane Cooper. Short ball to Bernard Wire. Saints looking for the chinks in the Bradford armour, but to the doctor coming up, but it's Shane Cooper again, Roy Haggerty. 15 yards from this Bradford line. The ball could be loose, but Jane Cooper, yes! Cooper goes over, right in front of the sticks. Well, it looked like a, a slight mistake there, Michael, but uh, Shane Cooper tidied up and went over under the sticks. Yeah, I think that uh, everyone was surprised, no more so than probably Shane himself, that he had no one in front of him. He took a very good uh, one-handed ball. 10 yards now, virtually centre field. Saints pressing upfield, got to get a score on the board before half time. Neil holding. Darren Bluer into space. Passes round the man. Saints on the attack, just brought down. Eight yard shot, brilliant ball on Linskills from Darren Bluer. Balls in from Atkin half back. Trying to stretch over there, but a tremendous tackling stint from Featherstone. Beavers stretching right. Holding. Going on his own. Just brought down Charles. Quick play the ball. Cooper lost it ball to Lockley. Must be over here. On to Tanner. Yes! Tanner's into the corner. Saints in the lead. Super drive from Tanner. I thought Paul Lockley had just uh, given that ball a little too early. But David Tanner did well. He went over with uh, the wingman, uh, Ian Smith. I think he did this side. Hanging on to him, but Tanner goes over and puts it back in the, well, not back in the lead, but in the lead. Time running out in this first half now. Evans to Blue. Time is of the essence now. Saints no hour. How many seconds virtually before the half-time hooter? Grove, centre field, outrageous dummy. Powers upfield. Evans attacks it half back. To Shane Cooper. Spreads it left. Bernard Dwyer. Turns round looking for support. Gets it from Cooper again. Yes! Out to Beavers. Yes! Sends it in again. Brilliant. Right on the mark. Yes, it is. And Beavers goes over. Brilliant ball and ring skills from the scene. Well, the six tackle there indicated again, they're coming thick and fast. Barton, cross field, uh, kick up field. Paul Hughes stops it with his foot. Goes in field. Bernard Dwyer, first man in there, and uh, Lachlan and Blue are coming to uh, assist. Referee Whitfield. Paul Vartin. Diagonal run, flicks it up, well taken by Beavers. Change of direction, hit the space. Sent on the attack again. Cooper, up to Lockley, yes. Oh, just couldn't release it. Very unlucky. Shane Cooper, he's having a stormer. Cooper again. Dwyer, yes. Cooper. Oh, two yard shot. Well, now's the time to pop a drop over. That'll certainly stick them. Blewer! Oh, brilliant play! Brilliant play from Blewer! Just when I thought he was going to pop a drop over, that would have signaled him. Blewer gave an outrageous dummy. And the Featherston players took it, and he touches down right behind the sticks. 
Stuart Evans. Good, solid uh, display from Evans today. Rested last week along with uh, Paul Barton and uh, Neil Holden. Also, Gary Connolly had to be uh, rested because of yesterday's uh, Bala International against France. He has to have seven days off uh, from uh, first team rugby. Neil Holden from Acton Halfback. Only the full back to be. He chips him. The chase is on. Must be a try. Yes. Neil Holden scores. Brilliant play from Holden. To beat. He kicked over Chris Bibb and there's not many of beat holding for the chase to the touchdown. And it... well, a big cheer now for Stuart Evans as he comes off to be replaced by Big John Harrison. He had a powerful game as Evans, a real strong blockbusting game. Certainly buckled down. There's Harrison, centre field, getting his first touch. Neil Holden now, lofted ball to Beavers. Turning up that main stand side. Oh, brilliant gubby! Oh, yes! Bernard Dwyer finishes off for that Beavers try. No danger. Brilliant play from this uh, Phil Beavers as he powered his way up the main stand side. Bernard Dwyer finished off after uh, David Tanner had uh, come in field. What a super try for the Saints. Another nail in the Featherstone coffin. Barton, lovely pass ball to Beavers. Out there to Conley in the line. Hunt on his outside. Hunt first in through. Still going, Hunt. Just brought down. Ten yards short of the Oldham line. Saints sweeping a good 40, 50 yards upfield. Line out to you. Saints spreading it quickly. Shane Cooper. What solid tackling from Oldham, centre field. Neil Oldham now, reverse pass to John Harrison. Inside pass, he's six foot seven, this lad, and the second in there, his arms are free. Saints keep it going, Stuart Evans now, taking up the running. Neil Oldham, looking for the gap, yes! Oldham there! Oldham up to score for the Saints! Just 13 minutes play. Saints, Saints charging up field. Barton lays a lovely ball over the overlap on the right. Beavers out to Hunt. Let's see this lad's pace. What a good tackle there on the far side. I think it was McAllister that came in there and completed the tackle. But Saints quick overlap on the left. Good hands from Harrison. Lockley work on his left. Lockley taking up the running. Good ball for him. Beautiful time ball from Lachlan, and Quirk goes in, extends the Saints lead to 10 points to nil, and that keeps his try scoring tally up, of scoring in every uh, of the last nine games. Brilliant. Well, Saints getting bottled up, right in front of us, but the ball's loose again. Play allowed to go on, the referee didn't see it, but on the touch judge's intervention. Must be very slippy, that ball out there. Couple of days of rain here, but Carver takes it well, drives up field, watch Carver go, supporting side Carver, the Beavers I should say, under the sticks, oh, tremendous dive from Beavers, but play looks a bit dead in the Saints half, and Carver come on the end of it, he powered his way through the Oldham uh, defence, and Beavers supporting on his right, and uh, finished off with a dive under the sticks. Saints back in charge, Lachlan, Beavers, on to Hunt, yes, Hunt's in for his debut try with the Saints, but quick play from the Saints with the only 12 men sweeping over there from the far side after that lengthy layoff. Groves on to Barton, straight runner, last game for Saints, he sustained uh, six, uh, well a nasty injury, uh, an ear injury, he had to go and have six stitches uh, put in it. After last uh, Sunday's match, Harrison gets the ball going to Groves. Back to Bluer, loses his foot in, but he comes back. Did well there, uh, Darren Bluer. Just couldn't keep it going. Good clamp tackle. Haggerty, lofted ball on the far side. Tavivas has to come back in field. Saints ready to the right. Barton, 
well taken to Fevers. Lofty ball to Connolly. Hunt again. Takes it well. Can he squeeze in? Yes! Into the corner. Good play from this man. Connolly and Hunt, teammates in the baller team. And Hunt goes in for his second of the evening. <laughs> Ruain completes the tackle. Well, kicks out, so it's uh, all on again, surely. Hunt! Oh, I thought he was into space. The referee hasn't wiped the tackle uh, count clean. But it's still in possession. John Harrison, solid tackling from Casey there. Harrison looking to release, he can't do so. But he still powers his way. There's uh, another few uh, valuable inches forward. Well, Oldham lying on it to play the ball. Certainly spoilers at this evening's game. Groves, outrageous dummy! Spreads it to, to the left, Evans. Inside ball there, Beavers. Yes, Darren Bluer. Will he finish off? Yes, Cooper. Oh, brilliant rugby. <laughs> Cooper, Beavers, in at the tackle with uh, big John Harrison now. A forward pass there, a mile forward that, but uh, going unnoticed by referee Haig. Ruane is actually half-back. On to loose forward there is Tony Morrison. He's a black brute lad, this Tony Morrison. Sixth and final tackle. Oldham tried to run it, Sits, keep it going. Brilliant ball from Agate. On to Blue. Lachlan on his left foot, nobody's going to stop Blue. Right under the sticks, well, just to the left. It was close, wasn't it? Brilliant play from Sits there, Oldham lost it. Agate snapped it up, quick as a flash. Flicked it to his left, Darren Blue there. And he ran the 60 yards to the sticks. And Blue just uh, having a few... Uh, Words of wisdom uh, in the Ian Bates' ear. But Saints are awarded the penalty. Quick tap and they release it, Barton. Can he finish off his last game before going home with a, a try? Certainly uh, a good display for the Saints. He scored three tries in his uh, short spell with the Saints. The first being on his debut against OKR at Craven Park. And that was a rasper from about 25 yards out. Haggerty! Into space! Inside the... Yes! He goes over there. Paul Barton. Finished off in good style, backing up, just as I was saying. If he could finish off before he goes over, he certainly did so there. Haggard. Paul Farber in the uh, sixth and final tackle for Oldham. Ruane with an up and under. Lachlan takes it. Quirk, quirk into space. Surely his space will take it. Right past Duncan Plath. Oh, brilliant play from the Saints. Let's go, goes in for his hat trick. Bangs it down, right behind the sticks. Saints just coasting in now. Barton, lovely ball, onto Cooper. Oh, space over here. Up to Beavers, out to Connolly. Goes inside, Hunt. Oh, brilliant, brilliant take from Hunt. Deserved better than that. The lad tries to get up. Must have tremendous long arms. Martin takes up the running. Puts Cooper in the space. Saints on the charge. Hunt's lost the boot. But to Bluer. Inside to Evans. Saints keep it going. Yes, Sir Agate. Over there to Farber. Out over to the left. Is it Beavers again? Yes, he's in. Beavers in for a second. Brilliant play from the Saints. It just uh, looks as though they're going to score at will. But Saints back on the attack. Cooper. Farber. Lovely ball to, to Lachlan. Yes, out to Beavers. Connolly, he'll give it on to it. Oh, Connolly goes in. Well, that's uh, Gary Connolly's first try in senior rugby with the Saints. Clark attacks in half back. You've got to run him, pressurise him onto Smith. Lucky to release it, but Agatha's got him clamped. David Cosgrove comes in uh, to assist. Fox there turns it inside, and a rather loose ball. Grove tidies up, hits his face. Grove's powering his way through. Locks the ball to Donegan. Can he take it? Sends it for a try. Well, 
that's it, it's going. Loose ball from Featherston, and uh, Austin Donegan latches on to the end of it, and touches down for his debut try in the first team for the Saints. Austin Donegan there, uh, certainly uh, getting into the swing of things. Scored Saints only try. Neil Alden into space. Cooper on his inside. Cooper takes the ball. Haggerty looms round, but uh, Alden takes it back. Unlucky there. Lovely break from Neil Alden. Very unlucky to break through there, the Saints. But Paul Groves, well, flings the ball out as Groves is upended. Featherston uh, snap it up quickly and break quickly to the, uh, the left wing. Smears again. The ball going down. Neil Alden. On to Shane Cooper, play allowed to go on. And Saints score the second try. So after 16 minutes of the second half, Saints score the second try. Shane Cooper going in. His 12th try of the season. Saints bring it blindside. Agate turns in field. Still going right, Agate. Into space. Turning round, looking for support. Brought down by David Hume. Blue at half back. Saints spread it quickly to the right. Neil Alden, quick ball. Lachlan, Hunt in the line. Hunt to Beavers. Comes inside of a fire. Still going, Beavers. A fire there. Manages to uh, regather his uh, legs. Tackles Beavers, but it's Saints on the charge. Pressing up. Neil Alden across field, up and under. Too deep, I think. No, it bounces it. Yes, it's a try. Yes, Shane Cooper. And that's about being in the right place at the right time. Yes, Mike Carrington there, his last first team appearance was the 13th of December against Hull at uh, the Boulevard. But uh, that, that ball adjudged to a touch to Wakefield player, so another six tackles as Paul uh, Lachlan feeds inside to Paul Grove. Support from Bluer. Saints spread it quickly. Beavers in the line. Beavers stretching it over to the right. Good dummy comes inside, he's still going, is it Shane Cooper? Shane Cooper, is he touched down? Yes, a try to the Saints. Well, that came out of nothing there. Out to Cooper, on to Bernard Dwyer. Coming down the blind side, Dwyer bursting through, Quirk on his inside. Good ball to Quirk, Saints in numbers. Still going Quirk, support there from Darren Bluer. Mark Bailey on his outside, Bailey's in for a try. Well, a good try from the Saints there, a full 60-odd yard movement. And uh, Mark Bailey touching down right under the sticks there. Callington attacked in half-back, turns the ball inside. Saints moving it cross field, Bluer, lofted ball there, well taken by Lockley. Out to Les Quirk, can he push it at the corner? Yes, good try from Quirk, he did well. The Wakefield man was coming in, but Les Quirk handed him off and kept him field. Could have easily been forced into touch right in the corner there. But uh, Les Quirk back, he's had a, a barren spell the last few matches. Not scored, I don't think he's scored since the uh, semi-final against uh, Witness at Wigan, but uh, Saints now extend the lead to 14 points to two. Les Quirk coming up, but a good clamp tackle there from Warrington, and uh, turning it is, lying all over Arkwright. Fieldhouse brings it blindside. Out to Les Quirk, into space. Can he outpace David Lyon? He comes in field. Still going, Les Quirk. Takes the three-man Warrington tackle to bring him down. Quick play of the ball wanted, Groves up there, Saints ready to the right, across the line, Shane Cooper, Roy Agassi, he'll straighten up, turns in field, oh brilliant, yes, that's to Lachlan, brilliantly taken ball from, uh, by Lachlan from Roy Agassi, but he's there, Agassi, he's been prodding and probing, a constant star in this Warrington side. Referee Holdsworth, his uh, line out of uh, Warrington looks a bit more respectable this half, Bluer and Cooper work the loop movement. Inside ball to Haggerty, threading his way through. Tremendous sidestep, Haggerty. Break it up to Bluer, tremendous take again. It's this man, Haggerty, creating havoc in the Warrington defence. Field out, lofty ball to Arkwright, moving it quickly to the left. On to a Paul Lachlan, out to Quirk, can he squeeze in? Oh, inches short there, let's Quirk. Sixth and final tackle, I would imagine Saints can spread it right to, no, he's going for the line. Here's a try, it's Barber, I think. 
Yes, brilliant play from the Saints. Under six tackle. Right to scoring early on in the second half. Just two minutes of the second half. And Paul Farber powers his way over. Ronnie Duane brings him down. McGinty in uh, assistance. Cooper, loop movement with Groves. Back inside to Agate. On the charge again, Agate. Oh, inside the field house. Back to Blue. Oh, champagne rugby. Lachlan again. Yes, he's going to score. Oh, brilliant rugby. Lachlan goes in. Ten yards to the right of the sticks. Good play from the seat. And that man, Agate, involved in there again. Quite a few pair of Saints hands, but this is what we've been looking for for the past four weeks. Saints slinging it together. Roy Haggerty now opens up the gap, said, oh, brilliant Santa. Go, yes! Oh, Haggerty, there he goes, raising his arm in daylight. What a superb try! International second row Pac-Man Roy Agate finishes off a tremendous display with a superb try right under the sticks. To Shelford, big New Zealand batting ram. Reinforced back, Sally Tadlin there, John Addison, Paul Farber. Checking back another five yards, where Paul Groves is there, yes, he's it, uh, at the bottom of that uh, heap there. Nicky Kiss, welcomes to Edwards, out to Ellery Hanley, short ball there. Interception, and Alan Hunt is on his way, they not stop Hunt. If he looks to his left and goes in for a little bit, yes, Hunt's there. Saints take the lead, Wigan tried to spread it quickly to the left, and Hunt, he uh, intercepted that ball, anticipated it very well. And... Well, uh, sounded a bit uh, naughty in the tackle there, but referee Haig right on the job. They're all in at dummy half. Saints approaching the Halifax 25-yard line. Paul Jones. Saints just taking it across the line. No way through for them. They've got to break this Halifax cover to get points on the board. Halli uh, Roy Haggerty. Sixth and final tackle. Hasn't been a changeover so far. Paul Groves out to Shane Cooper. Lofty ball there to Alan Hunt. Into space. Can Hunt squeeze it at the corner? Yes. Saints register the first points on the sixth tackle. Shane Cooper, a lofty pass out there to uh, Alan Hunt. He goes in for his fourth try of the season and puts Saints on the scoreboard and let's hope uh, it's just the start of more points to come for the Saints. Turns in the tackle looking to release, but uh, he's not been having the best of luck this afternoon. Cooper, lovely floated ball to Roy Haggerty. Out to Blue, but to Les Quirk's finally come up with it. Quirk into space, hurting down that main stand touchline. Strong lad, this Quirk. 25, 30 yard burst there from this uh, Cumbrian uh, winger. Shane Cooper, lofty ball to Neil Holding. Quick uh, back pass, John Harrison bends down, gathers it safely. John Fieldhouse, out to Jones. Quick hands is the essential here. David Tanner. Shows the dummy, gives the ball as uh, he was going to feed inside to Mark Bailey, but he has to take the tackle. Gary Connolly is acting half back. Mark Bailey along the line now. Darren Bluer, somebody will have to straighten up. Neil Holding looking for the gap. There's Holding, tries to get through. He's still going. He's Neil Holding out to Les Quirk. Can he go in at the corner? Yes, Quirk's in. Saints leading try scorer Les Quirk. He goes in at the corner for his 24th of the season. About time the Saints put it together. Taken down here on the uh, right-hand corner. They spread it across the line. Neil Holding doing a lot of the spade work there. Bringing it left. Stuart Evans. Into the Wigan defence. Adrian Shelford quickly in there. Richard Russell and uh, Andy Platt. Well, as I said before, as long as he's consistent, it certainly didn't look as though Platt uh, was holding him down too long, but uh, referee Carter moved him very quickly and awarded uh, Saints the penalty. Shane Cooper, the captain, quickly on the spot, and he's uh, pointing to the goals. And Paul Farber here, is, uh, is Farber going to have a go for goal? No. Neil Holding, by the looks of things. As I said, we haven't got a, a recognised goal kicker really in the ranks. Uh, Neil Holding uh, has uh, taken goal kicks before, as Paul Farber has. I remember him scoring uh, a couple of raspers there at uh, the Willows when uh, Saints... Uh, it looked as though they were getting beat. I think it was about eight, uh, eight points to six. I think we run out 18 points uh, to eight winners with two less quirk tries and two uh, Paul Farber conversions that saw us through that day. 
But it is Farber there. I thought it was holding, but it is Farber there. Going to have a goal uh, for goal. 40 yards out, just to the left of the post. Strikes it well, will it carry? Yeah, super goal from Farber. Saints in the lead, two points to nil, and Farber's first goal points of the season. So Paul Farber going to be entrusted with the uh, this goal kick attempt this time. About 30 yards out, just to the right of the sticks. Already uh, kicked one this afternoon in the 15th minute of the first half. He slots his second one over in the afternoon. It edges Saints into a two-point lead. The score now, Saints, so four, we're going to two. Mark Bailey with the ball in his possession now. A good chance for Saints to capitalise here with a clean heel. Saints come up with the ball. David Tanner, Roy Haggerty now. Looking to pepper this uh, witness defence. The ball's released. Uh, is it Phil Beavers that's come up with it? But Saints still moving it to the left. John Harrison. Back to Bernard Dwyer. Bernard Dwyer into space. Gives the dummy. Charges for the line. Yes. Dwyer's in. Well, that puts the fat back in the frying pan, doesn't it? Saints. Uh, they get a try on the board. Good play from Bernard Dwyer. But it was John Harrison that made the opening. But Arkwright comes up with the ball. On to Mark Bailey. Lofted ball to John Harrison as uh, Wright moves in very quickly. Well, uh, Sorensen coming in over the top. Not renowned for his finesse in the tattle is Kurt Sorensen, a good, uh, solid player. He can give it as well as take it. Fieldhouse on to Mark Bailey. Yes, Bailey's in. Well, Saints break very quickly there. And that'll uh, give the uh, Saints spectators a little bit of heart. OK. Well, uh, viewers, now that you've watched the tries, I'm sure you'll uh, agree with what I said before. There's some excellent uh, tries, some good team performances. And we'll just have a, a chat to Alex now uh, about events... Uh, of the uh, last season. Uh, well, Alex, when you consider that we was uh, seventh in the league, uh, beaten in the John Player semi, which I think we were robbed, uh, also beaten by Witness in the Premiership semi-final and uh, through to the uh, Challenge Cup final, it doesn't sound too bad on paper, but uh, when we get down to the nitty-gritty at Wembley, we was absolutely uh, thrashed 27 nil. It's uh, a bitter pill to swallow. It's something that will be with us for the rest of our life. We just didn't compete on the day. Could you put your finger on it? Well, I think taking the, uh, the season as a whole, uh, I don't think we had a bad season. I think a, a lot of people judged us because we didn't win any trophies. I was disappointed we didn't win any trophies. But having said that, you've got to look at what kind of a squad at this moment in time St. Helens did have. Um, we didn't have the biggest squad in the rugby league. Uh, like I say, I thought we should have won the John Player semi-final. We, we may have lost it through a little bit of bad luck and a, a little bit of our own complacency. Um, we then got to the semi-final uh, of the other competition, and again, uh, by witness, who probably turned out to be our bogey team last year. Uh, when it mattered, we did the business. Uh, a great game of rugby league for the Challenge Cup, uh, the Silk Cup Challenge Cup, semi-final which is a cracking game and uh, it's a pity that had to be a loser I thought we did enough in the first half to win the game comfortably uh, witness had a man sent off which didn't help them too much but at the end of the day I thought we showed a lot of character coming back and getting to Wembley and I think a lot of people have got to realize that it's a great achievement to get to Wembley and don't get me wrong I don't think anybody at this club is too proud of what happened when we got there. I mean, I know how disappointed the supporters were, and uh, I felt sorry in that respect. But I know how disappointed I was, and I know how disappointed the players was. I don't think anybody goes to Wembley to try and lose the match, but our performance in general was very, very disappointed. Certain players didn't perform on the day, and that's what Wembley does to people. I just hope that uh, people will consider that although we had 
probably the worst season in the league, finishing seventh since I've uh, been at the club. I think on the whole, the main problem was inconsistency. I think we lacked it throughout the season, and I think we'll put that down to, or I would put it down to, a lack of maybe quality players throughout the side. When we have injured players, we have problems putting quality players to make up a team. And I think we scored a lot of points, but it was very concerning that we had a lot of points scored against us. And that was all down to the same thing. We had a lot of injuries, we had a lot of inconsistency, but at the end of the day, we did get to Wembley, you know, and it's a big achievement, and it's not bad for uh, twice in three years. So really, we've got to build on that. And uh, I just hope that uh, we can achieve a little bit better than what we did last year by having a lot better and stronger squad. Yes, thanks, Alex. We've just got to try and, as you said, build up and hopefully get the uh, quality players here at Nosey Road. Um, you know, obviously we're trying and uh, we just... Uh, we seem to be linked with Helen all, but uh, we just uh, don't seem to uh, come in at the end, like, you know, with the other players, but we can just, just hope and try and build up on it. As you said, we was a bit Jekyll and hyde -ish. not a good run-up to Wembley. We lost the six out of the last seven league games, and uh, possibly some that we should have won. I know Wakefield, where we was well in command, and then we just uh, seemed to let it slip. I know it was a, an abominable day, but uh, that was it, wasn't it? Well, I think the most important thing, again, what you just said, Ron, is, is quite right, is inconsistency. It lost us a lot of matches. Yeah. And maybe professional attitude, because uh, we had games well and truly won, and because we didn't have enough world-class players, we let certain games slip, which I thought we should have won. I think we had some tremendous performances, but we also had some very poor performance. I'll never forget the game at Halifax. I think that was a total disgrace for any professional team to go out and uh, perform like that. I think you can all, any team can play bad, but to me, you should always go out and give of your best. And I think um, we had some world-class players at this club last year. Um, I think the introduction of Michael O'Connor and Paul Vartin um, halfway through the season looked as though it was going to be a blessing in disguise. And I think we've got to say, quite honestly, Michael O'Connor came with the reputation as the world's best centre and didn't produce it. I don't think we can make any excuses for that. I don't know what was wrong with the lad. His form just went down and down and down. I think he tried hard. Maybe he tried too hard. But he certainly wasn't the Michael O'Connor who came with the green and goals uh, 12 months earlier. Paul Vartin, well, he was a little bit better. But having said that, I wouldn't say he was the, the world-class forward that everybody kind of went out of the way to say that... Uh, this fellow will put some challenge back to the top of the league. I think both of the lads may have been a little bit overwrought with English football. I don't think they thought it was as, as hard uh, as, as what, what it was in Australia. I think the lads came over here thinking, well, we've done it in Australia and we'll have no problem doing it in, uh, in England. And I think both of them uh, did struggle. Uh, Michael O'Connor more so because uh, Michael uh, is a smashing lad. Don't get me wrong, but I think he was disappointed with his form. I think the supporters also uh, realised that. Uh, and at the end of the day, they didn't produce uh, what the two came over to, to produce. And like I say, that can only be down to uh, people not producing the goods. Yeah, I think here at St. Helens, uh, as you've said yourself, we are very critical as a supporter. And uh, myself, in the time we've been doing these videos, I've calmed down because I used to be very vocal on the terraces, but you can see it now, and uh, really you've got to get behind them instead of barricading them, because it can't do the player any good, and, uh, you know, you, you just uh, err your views, don't you? I, I know it's, it possibly is wrong, but that's uh, just how it is. I think the easiest way, thing in the world, Ron, is to knock. Uh, anybody can stand on the terraces and knock, and I think spectators are entitled to criticise, but I think, at the end of the day, we want what they want. We want the best 13 players on that field, for St. Helens. Now, unfortunately, there's not 13 Malmeningas in the world. Uh, and that is a problem. Anybody who comes from over to Australia having to compete with what he did at this club, well, it just can't be done. I mean, if he was back tomorrow, I think you'd see a vast improvement in, uh, the, in the gates here. I think our gates have been tremendous. But that is the kind of uh, standard the overseas players have got to live up to. What Meninga did, 
he did, and it's going to take a hell of a job uh, for anybody to top it. Well, we're used to the best here at St. Helens over the season. You can't uh, take it away from Malmeninga. Perhaps we expected Michael O'Connor to be uh, similar. We know he's not the, the a different type of, definitely a different type of player, whereas Mal's a big fella and that. As I said, we're used to the best. We've had you here, Volanoven, Karelius, Greenall. We've had some great players over the time. And we, we just expect the best. And uh, hopefully we can get back into uh, a winning ways with a better team. Obviously more competition in the first division now with only 14 teams and it, it makes it all that harder. Yeah, on about the Aussies coming over, Alex, our game is definitely improving over here in Great Britain. As you can see with the uh, Aussies coming now for our top players like a fire, uh, the forward ward and uh, Courier and that. And uh, as you said, Vartin and O'Connor probably found it a bit tough going where they thought it might have been easier. But our game is definitely improving and coming up to the Aussie standard, would you think? Well, I would think uh, Michael O'Connor and Paul Vartin, like I say, found a vast difference when he arrived over here. I think in the training methods and uh, the amount of time we had for training. It's not like uh, coming from Australia where they spend five or six hours in nice sunshine in having to, you know, train and go through everything. We have to get through training in something like two and a half hours in very bad conditions sometimes when it's snowing and windy and rainy. But having said that, I think our game has improved in every way. Standards of fitness, uh, professional attitude by players, and it's proved that by the lads going over to Australia and taking a test off Australia, when a lot of people thought it was an hopeless case. Uh, and then, carrying on the good work from there, people like Ellery Anley, Andy Curry, Martin Afire, Sean Edwards, Andy Gregory, Joe Lydon, you name them, we've got them over there. And all of them carrying the flag well for England. Nobody's let anybody down. I think they've been great ambassadors for the sport. And I think Australia now realise that our game has improved to the standard where they are now wanting all our top players. And I think we've got to be very careful we don't let too many go and burn them out because our main aim now is first of all to beat New Zealand and secondly to beat Australia. And I think if we can do it in that order, then Great Britain will be back on the rugby league map. Yes, I agree with you, Alex. We're looking forward to the forthcoming season. We've got the Kiwis over here, as you say, but uh, uh, already this season we've signed uh, Jonathan Griffiths, the uh, scrum half from Lanesley, and uh, George Mann, a New Zealand forward, along with some uh, youngsters that we've signed, with uh, obviously Gary Connolly, uh, Alan Hunt and Jason Roach. Uh, he's a junior, but he's a very speedy lad, I believe, a big lad. And uh, we could possibly be without this uh, George Mann and uh, Shane Cooper if they're chosen for the Kiwi tour. That'll obviously hinder your plans, but uh, hopefully we can build up uh, with the further signings, possibly before the start of the season. Well, I think the problem's going to be here, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the start of the season, but I'm not looking forward to it in the way that we're going to be the strongest side in the competition. We are lacking, and we've got to be honest about it, we are lacking quality players for our squad. We've not got enough quality players. And it's very, very difficult, you know, to compete with the likes of Widnesses and Wiggins and Leeds and uh, Hull even and Castleford. They have signed a lot of players. Now, I think that's what St Helens have got to do. It's not for the lack of trying. I think uh, there's nobody who works harder uh, at this club than the chairman in signing players. But I think at the end of the day, we've got to get them down at the club. Uh, you know, people are having a big laugh at our expense. It is nice that we have signed Jonathan Griffiths, and I think this kid will be a big asset to this club. I think he's a, a, a tremendous lad, and I think he's got a lot of uh, potential. And I think as long as people don't expect him to be a sensation overnight, and let the lad come through it and let him learn the game, we'll have no problems. George Mann is a class player in his own right. He's playing well in New Zealand. Uh, I just hope, and I'm not being selfish when I say this, that he doesn't get picked for New Zealand so that we can have no problems and he can come straight in and we can have him for 12 months and another 12 months option. It's very difficult if uh, we have three or four players picked for New Zealand and we are, we've got other names in the pipeline, but at the end of the day, if they get picked for New Zealand, it puts a big hole in your, in your, in your uh, efforts. Yeah, we're going to be struggling at the beginning of the season for forwards with Tony Burke going to Warrington and uh, Stuart Evans injured, just can't recover from this uh, niggly injury. And as you say, if George Mann is picked for New Zealand, we're going to be struggling there. But uh, we've got uh, John Field out there, and always unsettled here. And uh, Paul Farber, I believe, mm -hmm. is just uh, in the process of signing a, a contract. 
We could uh, certainly do with uh, these good forwards. Well, what we've got is Paul Forbes signed a five-year contract, so that's one happy thing. John Fielhouse, I think, can't uh, come to any agree agreement with the club, and it looks as though he'll believe in the club. But that's entirely up to John. We've offered him what we think is a contract, uh, and obviously it's up to him now. Uh, if he does, if he does stay at the club, he'll be welcome. If he goes, well, you know, it's just one of those things. But I would like to stress that this season is probably going to be the hardest season that Rugby League has had for a long, long time. I think the first division is going to be a cutthroat affair where if you get off to the wrong start, you can have problems. And this is the thing I'm worried about. I think that St Helens, if we don't have the amount of players we need to get through the first half of the season, I think uh, we could struggle. If we have a lot of new personnel here, uh, where they're going to come from, I don't know, but we are trying. If we don't get personnel, well, like I say, I think it's going to be a very, very hard season. I don't think it'll be an easy season for anybody. Witness are obviously going to start off favourites for everything, followed by Wigan, uh, Leeds, Hull, uh, Bradford Northern, Castleford, Salford. There's no easy ride in the first division, and uh, I think I'll be happy if we win all our home games and pinch one or two games away, uh, you'll find out you'll be there or thereabouts. But I think it's going to be a tremendously hard season. Anyway, thanks very much for joining us, Alex. I know you're a busy man and you want to get underway, but uh, all the best for the 89-90 uh, season, and uh, we just hope things uh, work out for the Saints, because it's uh, what we deserve, isn't it? Well, I think uh, I'd just like to say to the selling supporters, I know how frustrated they are, and I want what they want, and all I want is them to do what they did last year, they, they support as well, they're entitled to criticise, and as long as they have con constructive criticism, it's not so bad. So there'll be no complaint from me. If they get behind us as much as they got behind us last year, I'll be happy. I'll promise them one thing. I will do my utmost to sign players at this club. But it's very, very difficult. Yes, sir. OK, Alex. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.